storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Okay. Fuck you, Lena. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's what's Lena's last name? They asking who is Lena. What's Lena's last name? I don't know. It should be Williams by now. She was so thirsty to be a common law wife. Ooh, that's 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 one of that's one of cats. Okay, all right. Part of um, the reason I left that goofy ass bitch. I've waited for a moment to run into you, ho. Is it on site? I got I got time for you, Lena. The way you treated Coco was fucking appalling, bitch. And the only reason I ain't fucked you up that day that I left was out of respect for Cat. You were his mess to clean up, not mine. Fucking dare you run around the house with a gun threatening motherfuckers to say my name so you could shoot them. You a goofy bitch who catfished your way into his life. Or a Mac 10 phone, I think she got cat number out of Mac 10 phone. She stole Mac 10 phone or something. That's how the bitch got his fucking phone number. And then she it gonna sit like up, oh, you gonna bring that bitch in here? I'm almost at my seven years. I gave up my kids. Fuck that shit. If anybody say Jag name, I'm shooting you. See, that's the end for me. If I can't feel safe in a motherfucking place and niggas is pulling out guns, threatening to shoot people, you got to go to sleep with Kev Kevlar on because a bitch trying to get paid? Dang. The fuck would I stay for? And he was going to put me on the plane. And I said, no, I'm going to take Southwest. And I got in a yellow cab. I ain't even let nobody drive. You just got the hell out of Dodge. All right. Wow. I didn't run. I just left. Hell out fuck, of I look like catching a case, shooting a bitch in a house in Marina Del Rey with the biggest fucking comedian in the world. What what the fuck would that shit have done for my career? No, yeah, killed it to kill it. Cause I'd have killed that bitch. She needed it. She she was dead already. <laughs> yes, Lena. Lena is one of one of Cat's groupies. We we got that. We got that. Jizz. She the biggest oh. groupie. She the bottom bitch. Oh, she ain't and even I a top. In a good way. She the bottom bitch. You need your own podcast for sure. Okay, so I know. <laughs> fuck me she... and fuck <laughs> your common law, ho. I'm married for real. <laughs> See I my husband? Him. He married me and it only took him 21 days. I ain't had to wait seven years for the law to say he had to claim me, bitch. <laughs> okay. Leave, let's leave Lena alone. Go Lena be mad and go to BB and buy some ho. Go to BB and buy some. Get over it. You'll get over it. Get another tennis bracelet and call your children. Maybe they remember you. I'm sorry, oh. you were saying. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Okay, so let us know. Let us let us know about this. Let's get into something. I hope I see the bitch in the street when I go to LA. I hope I see her. I'm sorry. Well, that, that's okay. That's officially on site. That's on site. How did you get connected with Cat Williams? <laughs> it's a funny story. It was my 30th birthday. Okay. That was 13 years ago. And um I was uh, close friends with a friend of a friend and her and I shared the same birthday. Okay. And then special Ed was going to be in Miami at the same time celebrating his birthday. So we all celebrated our birthdays together and we called it the Taurus bash. I mean, we did it for many years. Uh, you know, what's your, what's your birthday? Season, in Miami, huh? Wait, when's your birthday? I'm a tourist too. When's May, your birthday? May 17th. Oh, you're May 17th. Okay, I'm April 28th. I'm my April 1. Okay. My, no, that's okay. My my cousin and my twin soul, Shanona, uh, Norny the hairdresser back from Philly, she's April 23rd. Nice. So, so April Taurus is good. It's all good. As long as it's bull baby, it's good. So, okay. okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, so it was the birthday and Kat just happened to be booked at the amphitheater in Miami and he and Special Ed are friends. So Ed invited him to the birthday party. Turns out he was a, a supporter of my music. And um, we, the picture that I posted online, um, that, was, that was the first night we met. And um, he gave me a lovely birthday gift. 
Okay. And uh, it was cash. <laughs> Which is um, always lovely. Yeah. And <laughs> we had a great night and I sang to him and we talked about his production company. He said, Jag, will you come right for me? And I said, absolutely. And uh, he said, well, when can you come to L.A.? And I said, well, I have to go home. I have children. <laughs> After I finish with my birthday, I got to go home. But once I go home and check on my kids, I can leave. Um, I did. I left. I went to L.A. And then I I traveled with him. Um, I was with him uh, for... Hey, let, you me, let, me address some, let, let me address some really quick, Jack. Chanel, yeah. thank you for the, th Chanel, thank you for the donation. We're letting our guests speak. We have to let our guests complete a thought before I hop in. I know a lot. I know a lot of people don't get that concept, and we. But have y'all have some patience. We are here for a conversation. Y'all want everything so quick. Life ain't a sprint. It's a marathon. Damn it. Did your man make love to you quick or slow? Oh no, Lord no. <laughs> All right, Jay. Go. Okay. So you. So so, Cal was a really nice guy. Gave you cash. Okay. Go go ahead. Tell us about that. So Asia, your skin looks amazing. What are you doing? Thanks, girl. I discovered these life changing products called Shaw's Creations. I've been using their toning up package, and it has really made a big difference. And they have products for everyone. So if you have dark spots, stretch marks, acne, pimples, sun damage, psoriasis, eczema, or age spots, anything, they have products for you. So you should call them today. I'm gonna call right now. Call two four zero two eight eight three four one four. That's two four zero. 288-3414 or visit shazcreation.com. Yeah, no, um, I was with him um for the filming of First Sunday. So I was on set with Ice Cube. Shout out to Melinda Williams. She killed it every day. She's so professional. She just she's dope. Uh, you know, of course, Lunell, who's my very good friend. You know, it was a Ooh, I, love, I love you some Ooh. Well, that's my boo boo. That's my wife. Like if I were to if I were to get married to a woman, that would be my wife. Can I keep it real with you? Yes. I want to. I want to know what Lunell mouth do. I want to know what that mouth do. I. You know what? Oddly enough, so do I. <laughs> I want to know. You know, rumors aren't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Sometimes and with the you need to know, but I'm a married woman now. You are married. I'm. Ma I'm married now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I got you off track. Lunell no, just. No. Um, so yeah. yeah, so we were there. Uh, shout out to Ice Cube. You know, who's just awesome at everything that he does. Um, yeah. So that was a lovely experience. Um, at one point in time, we were talking about me having a song on the soundtrack, but then it was just crazy. Like everything was crazy. Um, and then right after that, then it was the American Hustle tour. So okay. we were on the road doing the tour while he was filming first Sunday. And, and you guys were an idol? Were you guys an official idol? What I'll say about me and Micah. Oh, the government. He's one of the most brilliant individuals I've ever met. He's one of the only other people that I would say is smarter than me. Um, Every moment that I spent with him, I learned something. Uh, he really taught me the um, art of- Micah is Cat him. Williams. Go ahead. <laughs> um, he taught me the meaning and, and, and how to manipulate and use um, comedic timing in your writing. You know, people always say I'm so funny. Half of my friends are comedians and some of the best comedians in the world, you know. I know Kat personally from him coming to my birthday party, but I knew of him because of Lunell, who I've been friends with forever from all of the time that I spent working and living in Oakland. And, you know, nice. friends like Red Grant, you know what I mean? Like Red has been Kat's everything, you know, yeah. and Red is, yeah, Red, is a, Red is a real one. Red is a real yeah, one for I mean, sure. I was mentored by Michael Collier. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Collier uh, mentored me in stage performance. And that was back when I was briefly dating Michael Grant, the boxer, because he mentored the both of us. We were kids. And then um, I went to New York to start auditioning for The Lion King. And Michael went to Atlanta. And then the next time I saw Michael, it was with Michael Collier. And I saw Michael Grant. And he was engaged to his wife, who he's still with to this day. And we're all very good friends.
Okay. Um, but I see, but I see in your eyes there you still you still have a lot of love and respect for Kat. So that speaks to his character. Don't make me cry. I'm not trying to make you cry. I'm not Oprah, but <laughs> no, it's just Cat Williams is a very sensitive subject for me. Okay. Because I'm like his biggest fan, yo. He's he's like, really I really am. Yeah. yeah. One of the smartest things I ever heard him say, because I want people to really understand the the show is the show. I think part of the biggest reason why our energies were attracted to each other is because the both of us specialize as practitioners in provocation. Mm. Cat challenges you with every word, yo. Okay. He holds you responsible for every thought. So anyway, we were having a writing session. And this is when he was, you know, he had the cartoon on um, Adult Swim. I mean, he had so much going on. And I mean, it was just a lot. It was his life is a whirlwind. And so we were staying at the house <clears throat> in Marina Del Rey. And um, we're having a writing session in the living room. And, and I was just like, wow, what an awesome way to live to have the ocean right there and to have all of these brilliant minds in one room. And, mm -hmm. and, and I was cooking and, and it was just, it was a perfect moment in life. And um, they got to talking. So they were talking about how to top, you know, the best writers in the game. And of course we talked, you know, there was conversation about Paul Mooney and Richard Pryor. And then people started talking about Kings of Comedy and oh, Kings of Comedy, and, oh, Kings of Comedy. Right. Bernie and this and that cat walks into the center of the room so everyone could see him when he said what he was about to say next which was hella brilliant and he said all you niggas are sitting here talking about all these other people and nobody said eddie murphy oh yeah how could you forget and eddie murphy everybody was like did yeah. we just get fun and he said y'all want to sit here and talk about kings of comedy being the greatest Comedic movie of all time, and y'all don't want to talk about Raw? Ugh. Smack two. <laughs> right. But the third smack was the greatest. And that's what I love about Cat because when he attacks a subject, it is tactical, yo. He makes sure that you get the point at the end. Yeah. And the third thing he said was Kings of Comedy was a great movie. He said, but it took four niggas to do what Eddie Murphy did by his motherfucking self. Boom. There it is. I wish the world knew that Cat Williams, yo. I still want them to know that Cat. Let, was, let, me, let me ask you this. Who has it out for Cat? Because every time you turn around... They, they trying to get him arrested, you know. That's he, not he, my story to tell. Okay. Okay. But I can and read anybody that does, And anybody that does tell it wants a check. Are you sick of walking around with that pooch that you just can't lose? Have you been trying to get back into your favorite apple bottom jeans, but you just ain't been able to? Or are you ready to finally have a beach body that you don't have to hide with the shirt or with the sarong? Then I got the perfect product for y'all. And it is called My Colon Cleaner. Now, this is not something that, you know, you only do once every three months or once every six months. It is a daily fiber supplement that you will incorporate with healthy diet and proper exercise exercise along with a lot of water intake throughout the day in order to keep your poo moving, keep you healthy, keep you sound and in good health. So try uh, it's storm show. Ay, it's storm show.